Okay, so here we are with the eighth string. I'm taking this one apart um, because I'm going to acrylic pour this one too. That's right. I'm crazy. And I'm going to acrylic pour the crap out of this guitar and it's going to be sick. Um, <laughs> but no, this ended up being, uh, I have my other eighth string over there that I'm assembling. Um, but that one right there has a... Uh, <clears throat> A lot less problems with it. This one, I con I left a terrible review. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It was like three stars, but um, saying that things like you can see here, uh, like the circling of a rotary tool, like as they just sanded this, and I tried to sand it out, but I was really afraid I'd get through this veneer and then lose the coolness factor of it. So I finished the guitar anyway. And then the neck also has this chip in it, and then one of the tuning pegs broke off and then snapped like the screws in the back. So this guitar isn't in perfect condition um, if you want it to be a wood finished guitar. So I contacted them or the manufacturer contacted me and was like, Hey, would you, we can just send you a new neck, a new body and new tuning pegs. And I was like, yeah, that sounds good. So, um, <laughs> So I ordered new parts for that, which are right there. So I'm going to put actually custom stuff in there uh, so that I can finish that guitar over there. And then this, I'm going to keep these parts for. I'm just going to take it apart and pour it. So I'm going to try this out and see how it goes and see if I even like this. So, yeah, enjoy the ride. I'm going to use all these for the guitar over there, so, and uh, I have one coming in on eBay, so I saw my way.
All right, so I'm gonna start with the back here first. Um, <clears throat> sorry about the bump. I'm gonna get to it, laying down that base white. Well, that didn't turn out. <laughs> so I ended up uh, scraping off all the paint, sanding it back down, and then I just sprayed the back matte black because I couldn't decide on something at the time. And I'm kind of actually happy with it because it brought me to the idea of just spraying the front white, the rest of it matte black on the back, and then now pouring on top of this and having the front only. I think that's going to look really cool because that's all the people really care about anyway. So um, I primed the front here, as you can see, nice white uh, primer on it. And I'm going to go ahead and start pouring. I'm changing it up. I'm not going to actually mix this stuff with the... Uh, um, <coughs> the pouring medium I just feel like it takes too much time and I don't really care so um <laughs> and and I feel like it doesn't give me that good of a difference I feel like it actually just makes the paint thicker which maybe that's the point to make it stick but I, I am willing to just risk it on this I've already kind of messed up some stuff so whatever so I'm gonna paint this up and we're gonna see how it goes so first things first make sure that you're level uh and we will just get started to the head um since i've decided on a color i like it i'm gonna go ahead and pour this as well so obviously make sure it's level i've had to do some real interesting rigging to get this thing level it's on a spray can and tape at the end but <laughs> it's level so uh, that's all that really matters so let me go ahead and get this and we will start on the head
Okay, so here's the finished paint job that I did. Um, this is after it dried. This was before I put the 2K clear coat on. Um, and now this is after. Uh, I didn't film the process of me putting that clear coat on because I didn't really know how it was going to turn out. So I didn't really want to film it if that was going to be the case. Um, but as you can see, the black now has a gloss to it. You didn't really see it beforehand with the Mac. But honestly, I do like the gloss too. <laughs> um, I just think I, I like the contrast of having like a plain black uh, to the front being acrylic poured. It looks really nice. So I'm just going to go through, skim through me putting this together and you'll see all that. Okay, so here I am evaluating the frets. I'm trying to get them level. Uh, and I had some nicks in frets like 2, 14, and 21. So I was just simply trying to get the... The little nicks out and then I kind of had to redress some of them and, and fix them up so you can kind of see my process I'm still not the best at this part like of redressing frets I'm learning that but it turned out well and, it, and the guitar plays nice I don't have any dead frets or anything like that so I'm happy with it and it feels good Okay, and now I'm gonna use a Dremel in the brown compound to just quickly buff these, and then I might go hit it with um, the frying stuff as well, which you guys probably saw me do use in another video. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with this. A bridge for this thing that looks pretty darn cool. Black and gold. Pretty sweet. It's got a little paper thing in here to protect. But yeah, I'll just time lapse it now and you'll just get to watch that. Okay, so real quick, in case I didn't show this, but this is how easy the back are. So these quick connects here are like soldered in place from whenever I bought the guitar. So, um, yeah, so it's just easy. That's the output jack right there. And then you just connect up each pickup into these. So pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about it is that uh, you can't split coil the humbuckers.
Thank you.